what we learn from Hollywood that is equally true with speakers, and that it is very difficult to be creative in isolation. And this is why we gather with like-minded people to fuel our creativity. And if we consider Hollywood, we stand in the rain to watch a movie. The question is, would people stand in the rain to hear your presentation <laughs> or your sermon or go to your training seminar? Perhaps if you incorporated some of the punch and pizzazz that Hollywood teaches us. Because what happens when we go to the movie is that we go out and we retell the stories that we hear. We tell our friends, you absolutely must see it. I'm not going to tell you the end, but you're not going to believe what happens in the last scene. See, once we tell our friends, what Hollywood does is spend millions of dollars to promote the movie so they guarantee that your friends turn up the first weekend so they get their money back. Anyone who advertises a movie will tell you, though, it's not the budget, it's not the promotion, it's the five moments. The five moments in the movie that you walk out and you tell your friends about. And your five moments, and your five moments, and your five moments might be different, but we build the word of mouth. And what speaker will not be successful if we don't build our own word of mouth advertising? Now, it is equally true that we need to promote. But the promotion, our website, our social medias, our blogs, the press that we gather, our interviews, our television appearances, reinforce and build on the word of mouth so that our phone rings and our email clings and tings another invitation. It is true. In November of 2002, I was talking about Hollywood principles to the Los Angeles NSA chapter. And I said, I've just attended a seminar by Michael Freeman who says that the opening of a movie is called the flavor scene. And the first 30 seconds of a speech compares to the first three pages of a screenplay or the first three minutes, the opening scene of a movie. And a gentleman in the fourth row puts his hand up and said, you're quoting my competitor, why aren't you quoting me? <laughs> to which of course I said, well, who the heck are you? And that's when I met and started becoming friendly with Michael Haig, who calls the opening of a movie, The Seduction Scene. 